Good morning, everyone. Lori Marie here, mixed media artist in Vallejo, California. New glasses, and I also got a tattoo on my head. You don't get to see it until some of the hair grows back. It's pretty stark right now. So, a couple of weeks we'll do the unveiling when there's some hair there. It's gorgeous, I love it, but we'll just have to wait. All right, we're playing on a substrate today. A uh, little collage on a substrate, very, very fun, playful, lots of layers background. So, thank you to everyone that's bumping up with me on Patreon. Uh, I'm loving it. We are uh, expanding. Thank you for making your orders through my Amazon. Uh, thank you for joining my classes. If you want to see information about what I'm doing, all that stuff, go on my website, lauriemariejenkins.com. I appreciate you. And thanks for leaving comments. All right, enough chatter from me. See you on the table. Good morning. Here's our fun project for today. We played a lot with the background. I used clear gesso and some acrylic paints. Um, let's see, I used yellow and green. Oh, I used a little bit of uh, ochre watercolor. I used a turquoise. I used a pink. I used Van Dyke brown hue. Um, I played mostly with a spatula today. Oh, I also sprayed a little bit of Distress Spray Stain Dried Marigold on here. I think I mentioned the clear gesso. I used a screen for some texture here with a makeup sponge. Um, all palette work today. Very little brush work today except for putting on the underpants. Uh, Stabilo around her white ink gel pen there, which is very fun. And then the triple thick on her face, if I didn't already mention that. That's pretty important. I love the effect of that on her face. And this is done on a wooden substrate. Good morning. We're going to talk about underpants a little bit. Uh, why do we have the underpants? Uh, do we need the underpants? And I started teaching, I don't know when, a few years back, and uh, a way for me to bond with the piece that I'm starting to create instead of facing a blank canvas was to bond with putting down book text and how important that became to me in the process of making mixed media. So the way that I explained it was, the underpants were very important, but not everyone got to see them. Sometimes they would peek through and sometimes they wouldn't. Now if they were fancy underpants, you got to see them even more. So there are different kinds of underpants. Fancy underpants, plain underpants, fragile underpants. And what I do, because I'm not real crazy about the white edge of the underpants, is I just take a ruler and lay it along the text and then I just tear off the white edges and then I just have the text left for the underpants. So there's a little bit of underpants instruction. <laughs> and the fragile underpants will not go around the edge of your substrate, a substrate being whatever you're building your artwork on. Um, so it has to be a hardier or a newer page that will wrap around the edge. Okay, the fragile ones will break. I have some fragile ones here. And these will break uh, when you wrap them. So you need a hardier underpants to wrap the edge of your substrate. Okay? All right, so here's my substrate, and I have my underpants at the ready. And I am going to take my Mod Podge and my Baby Blue, which is what I call my brush, and I am going to start putting underpants on my substrate. And I'm going to leave them over the edge like this so that I can wrap my substrate, which is a piece of wood in this instance. So I'll just put Mod Podge down. I won't wrap the first time I go around. I'm just going to lay some underpants on there, leaving it over the edge there so that I can eventually wrap it. And I'm just going to go through with some sturdy underpants. I 
and you have to realize I am here for inspiration only. I am here to make suggestions and inspire. Uh, so hopefully that is what's happening. So I'm just going to go ahead and cover my substrate with underpants. As I work toward the center and get away from the edge, I can put down a piece of the fragile underpants because that I am not going to be wrapping. Now as crazy and as carefree as I like to believe that I am, <laughs> I still like my underpants straight and orderly. This is not for everyone. Some people like wonky underpants. I uh, wish I did, but uh, I really tend to put them on straight. But that is artist's choice for sure. And the underpants, when you double layer them or add to them like this, you are actually uh, adding some texture. And if you get some wrinkles in your underpants, that's okay. We call that texture. I'm going to flip this over and wrap the back. Alright, I work on the back side while the front is still wet, so when I lift it over I might have a little bit of texture here. Picked up a little bit of paper here, doesn't look like I tore anything off, which it would be fine if I did. Alright, although my piece is going to be like this, I'm going to work like this so it can all be on the screen. I'm not waiting for the Mod Podge to dry. Nature of the Beast here, no patience. This is clear gesso, and the reason I'm doing this is to make sure that the paint stays on top and doesn't soak into my papers, and we will let that clear gesso dry. I'm going to bring in my yellow ochre watercolor. I'm just going to put some on there. I'm going to make a glaze or a wash, which means I'm just going to add some water to that. Catch the edges. And let that dry. Alright, my intention today is to uh, put the brush away and to play with the palette knife today. So I have some pretty pink here. And I'm just going to put some smooshes around here. And we're just going to use the palette knife to spread that. Next I'm going to bring in, this is a golden product, Cobalt Turquoise. Go in where there isn't some pink, add some color. Clearly we need more. Remember to hit your edges with some of your paint. And let it dry. Now I have already picked out my focal point. I have sent this to Patreon months ago. So I kind of know what colors I want to play with here. Now I'm going to bring in light green. I'm 
just drag that around with my palette knife. And let that dry. While that's drying, I'm bringing in a Distress Spray Stain, Dried Marigold. Who knows where I got this. All right, now we're gonna let it dry. Well, this is very fun. I'm gonna put some uh, Van, Dyke, Van Dyke Brown Hue on my workspace. And since we're playing with the palette knife today, I'm just gonna, you can't quite see that. I'm just running my um, palette knife through that color. some markings. And let that dry. And I'm going to bring in some yellow, apply some of that to my a very small piece of bubble wrap. And just apply some bubble wrap on there, wherever you would like to see that. Very fun piece. And I'm just cleaning my palette knife on the edges as I go. All right, let's let that dry. I'm bringing in some white acrylic and some water and this fan brush, whatever that's called. I don't know. You guys will tell me. I'm just adding some fun splatters to that. My goodness. What a great background. And we'll let that dry. Bring in my focal point in. Since I said no blue baby blue today, we're going to put some glue on here with my finger. Give her some legs. And also these are some feet, which are very fun, and I'm going to add those to her wings. They're not feet anymore. Oh, yeah, so I fibbed. We're going to use the baby blue to put Mod Podge on the back of her. She's many, many magazine pieces put together. She's very fun. I believe I put this together when I was playing with Dana Marie in Connecticut. And let's lay her down. Now this is a perfect example. This is a high quality magazine and this is a low quality magazine. Can you see how this wrinkled more? I'm okay with that, but that, uh, that will explain some of your wrinkles. It depends on the quality of the paper that you're playing with. Now what I like to do to make sure everything is all stuck down, I put some Mod Podge on there and then I go over it with my finger. I won't tear up the paper if I have Mod Podge on my finger. So it kind of allows me to play on there without moving the background colors too much. We do have the spray on there, which will move, and we also have watercolor back there, which will move. Okay, I'm going to turn her sideways so that we can play together. I put some of the turquoise from the background. I put some of that on my play area. I have a piece of screen. I'm going to use a makeup blending brush. Not put too much paint on there. What I'm trying to do is just blend her, make her look like she belongs here. So wherever you think it could use some energy, 
Just put that screen down for texture and add some color. All right, let's let her dry. I'm sure you've played with the stabilo by now. Just gonna go along the edge. I am a spit and smudge girl. So just go around the edges there, the edges of your focal point. So I've gone around the focal point. What I'm doing now is I'm just bringing the corners in a little bit with the stabilo. Now this focal point looks like she has a helmet on with maybe a shield over her face. So I'm bringing in some triple thick and I'm going to put triple thick on her face. Alright, we are going to let her dry. Okay, we got the lawn guys here, so we've got some background music and, and some hubbies in the shower. <laughs> so lots of things going on. I just went over these with my white gel pen, she already had those, and then I created these down here. Dress to bloomers. <laughs> Alright, so the uh, triple thick is drying nicely. You can see her shine on her face. I really, really like that. So, all right, your turn. Go create, go play, go have fun.